Hello Tubesters, join me on take two. My pop Archie's just ruined the last one. Right, <laughs> barking. Uh, thanks for joining me on another video. Uh, we're looking at Empress Miniatures 28mm painted Vietnam figures. They are part of the group that I showed before. Um, I showed three unbased, I believe, and I've done another video um, showing an unboxing. I have six, oh, six. I have three more bags coming. Yeah, I liked them too much. I had to press the trigger on that one. Uh, I've got a command group coming. Uh, some M16s and a group that's supposedly taken off photographs of the Battle of Huey. Uh, I just wanted to show this. Does anybody in the UK remember these? magazines that came out in the late 80s. I've always had an interest in the Vietnam War um, and these came out when I was probably 18, 19, something like that and uh, about every two weeks. Uh, I just, I don't, I'm going to show you a photograph out here. I don't normally do do this type of thing but I think I'm allowed to under a historical context and that's what I want to show it for. Um, because I know a lot of people won't even be bothered to go and look for the Battle of Huey on the internet or on YouTube. If you do, you'll see some street fighting and stuff. Um, I'm not particularly uh, into glorifying it, but I am into telling the story of the United States Marine Corps, uh, Army units, Navy units, Air Force units uh, that were in the Battle of Huey. And this is mainly also with the figures and that for the Marine Corps. Uh, but there you go, that's a quite well known still of an M60 gunner and his team. And uh, that is the Battle of Huey. And these are what these photographs, photographs, soldiers are supposedly uh, replicating. I say supposedly, I mean from my painting point of view, not the sculpting point of view. Uh, Brilliant figures to paint. Uh, if I've gone and spent my hard-earned cash on more figures, uh, it's because I've really enjoyed painting them. Uh, it's a subject I like. Will I keep them or try and sell them? I'm always broke, so I'm probably going to end up having to sell them. Uh, but highly recommended figures. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't uh, speak highly enough for them. I think they've got all the bits and pieces on them. Uh, we've had a, a in the comments bits of discussions about the uh, mortar tubes stroke. Uh, well, I say mortar tubes, that's wrong because the mortar tube is a tube, the mortar. Uh, but the spare mortar, mortar rounds are carried in a cardboard tubes. Uh, there was talk. Uh, whether they were law 60, the sculpts are meant them to be law 66s. I, I first verged on mortar tube, uh, the carrying tubes for the mortar bombs. Uh, then I started to veer, and they, well, maybe they might be supposedly 66s. Uh, that's the light armour weapon, so it's a, a, ro a disposable rocket launcher, more or less. Short, opens up, put the graphical type thing on the on the target, boom. Brilliant for taking it. We used them in the Falklands War. Well, British, not not me. I wasn't there. Uh, but to take out Argentinian bunkers and that, they really are. You know, if if, if they were, if they were a bit light for modern day armour, they are still brilliant to carry on your on a sling over your back and uh, and take out bunkers with. I'm digressing. Uh, but yeah, I've I've painted them as as mortar round tubes because that's what I believe the, the sculptor meant them to be. Uh, I've seen. I've gone on the website. Empress, and I've seen him. He knows what a law 66 is, and it's Paul Hicks that sculpted these. He does his research, you know. So, um, yeah, they're tubes for, for mortar rounds. Uh, there was also talk of cutting the respirators off, and I wasn't sure if that was meant to be to make them more in context to use them in a, a non urban setting. The US Marine Corps were carrying their respirators with them. Uh, on there, so gas masks that uh, they, they, they were carrying them because they use a lot of CS gas to winkle NVA and Viet Cong out of um, buildings and, and little bunkers and that that they've made with rubble and things like that. And you'll see a lot of uh, photographs of them in their respirators 
which can't have been good in a Vietnam type setting with the um, with the humidity and everything. Right, I'm rambling away. Uh, let's go down and take a look. Right, guys. Yes, I know these don't look like painted uh, United States Marine Corps grunts, but they are the opposition, the MVA. Um, I don't often actually paint on a on a pre on a base that I've I've already done, uh, but in this case I decided to. Uh, it's only the basic um, sanding and bits and pieces on there at the moment. I may actually do these as a, I'm not sure whether I'll do these in a Huey type setting or and I might make these just normal, you know, uh, grass tufts and and that type of thing. But uh, just thought I'd show them off. They're all ready for priming. Uh, the bipods you stick on separately, uh, it's not too onerous, uh, they do go right on the end there. Uh, the only one I've left off is this guy here, I'm going to paint him as Viet Cong, he just has more of that style. Uh, I've left it off there because unless I was going to cut the bipod in loads of bits um, to have it at the beginning and at the back there, uh, it, I just didn't think it was worth it, so I've actually left I've left that off on there. Um, I don't think it detracts to that that much from the figure. So there are non-painted efforts. And as I say, I've got those three packs coming as well. I've got two blooper guys I've left out. Uh, I've still got these, by the way, on the bottle tops. They're just easier to handle as I'm showing them. As I try not to knock everything down. I'll try and take some photographs of these and stick them on the video at the end. Oh, I've got him all shown first. Uh, what I've noticed on a lot of the Huey uh, type photographs where you had a lot of debris strewn around. It was an urban setting of varying degrees. Some was absolute rubble um, like around the Citadel and things like that, you know, you, you, you've got densely packed old style buildings uh, and then you've got others more on the periphery and garden settings and things where you've got bits of tufts literally <laughs> like these um, in amongst all the rubble. So this guy here, we've got a bit of lead wire uh, that's just been shown as a bit of piping of some description. We've got busted up bricks everywhere. We've got rounds on the uh, on the floor. What else? I, I did attempt at doing a, a, an ammo belt. That's flattened lead wire with two round bits of the normal lead wire glued either side with uh, CA glue. Uh, what it probably, the, 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 the middle's too wide really, but what it needed to do is once I'd flattened it out was just to trim a bit off the side. So what it is good though with the lead, even with um, CA glue, so super glue on, uh, it's very, very malleable. Uh, you can press it down just like the as you can with lead wire so uh, you can get that from eBay um, mine is just uh, I bought stuff that's uh, I'm not sure if they use it for fishing wire or not but anyway it's 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 not expensive so the one thing I still haven't done and I've only just thought about it as I'm <laughs> classic as I'm showing the, the videos. They've got to have one more fight. They have been figures have been sprayed over, but I need to do another coating of varnish over the, the bases and everything. So what I need to do is there's a few bits, a few of them got smoke grenades, and I, I need to put a couple of markings on those. I think it's like a yellowy writing. I'm not gonna do it on the grenades, I don't think, because it's it's they're too small. Um, we've got uh, bits of sprue that I've cut off rounded sprue. I found the smallest I could find and I've just made those up into like pop cans. We've got bits of painted and unpainted wood. Again, just giving it that vibe of of way as much as I can. I wasn't going to try and put little walls around them or anything like that. It looked a bit silly. Um, He's in his waterproofs. I've tried to give him a more highlighted feel to give him a bit of a shine to him. You could put a satin 
varnish on them separately but I don't want to do that I'm quite happy with how that look that looks a lot of the or some of the guys there you often see pictures and these are the mortar tubes in question I'll just give them that dark uh, uh, bronzy not bronzy green but it's it's a it's it is a particular US color um, not particularly for these cardboard tubes but the, when I looked at pictures of them they roughly look that color So as again, they're not 66s, they are tubes. There's the respira respirator cases as well. Yeah, quite, a, quite an enjoyable painting experience they are. A bit of tin foil made up to be a bit of scrap metal uh, stuck in the ground, uh, some rusty tins. He's got his pack of Marlboros. Again, we've got a few spent rounds dotted about the place. Again, a bit more spent rusty, well, spent rounds, yes, but rusty, rusty metal, a few tufts, a few rusty cans. just stippled over the bases with um, the different colours that they came with that, that I've painted so there's bits of in amongst this silver grey um, dry brushing over the sand with uh, yeah, then stippled on uh, the different colours of the bricks and that as in dusty type looks just to add in there I've tried to do a bit of a Latino look um, I don't know how successful that was really but it's a learning curve. Another pop can. I didn't want to go over the top with the with the um, with the bases. You know, I'd, there's only so. Yeah, that I mean, you'll see loads of photographs in Huey uh, where the um, where the rubble is really dense and things like that. I wanted to. I, I didn't want to. Yeah, the bases at the end of the day, for me, they're, they're like little picture frames, which is why I paint them black. And I have put these on 3 mil deep ones, which I normally do too. But I just wanted to make these stand out as little, I don't know, almost like collector's pieces, I suppose, in, in their own right, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah. I've, I've, uh, and also, you know, I, I know I've hard, you know, if I do sell these, try, or try and sell these on, People will say, well, I want to do paddy fields and jungle and woodland and grasslands and all that of Vietnam. Because each, each area of Vietnam was different, obviously, you know, from the Delta to, to the Central Highlands, you know, uh, to the Cambodian border. Ev everything had a, had a different uh, geology to it. Uh, but these, these guys, I just wanted, as I say, I, I, I couldn't not represent them for way especially with the carrying the respirators and that yes they did use respirators occasionally to obviously try and uh, get the uh, Viet Cong out of bunkers and stuff which was never really successful because they tended to have little doors that they could push up to keep the gas from coming in too far and all that type of stuff uh, but if you wanted to do that feel you know they're all carrying respirators so I, I wanted to give it a way a way look um, but if you wanted to, what I'm trying to get around to saying is just as I've tufts there, you know, you could quite easily just, just dot tufts all over them. You know, you either rip off some of the more high high bits or just, just stick tufts all over them and they'll soon disappear. So thank you very much, guys, for joining me on those. Uh, there will be more up and coming as I go. As I say, I've got these MVA to paint once they're primed in the next month. We'll do a bit of model priming in a... In another day or so and uh, I will um, then get on to to painting those I will do another unboxing of the other figures coming yes I know you know it won't be a we're not hunting for mold lines or miscasts or anything I mean we've 
we've already checked that uh, those out on this on this group of figures and we said you know there was nothing wrong with them it will just be a case of showing the poses really what you've got because uh, they look quite interesting the only thing I probably I'm not I don't know if I'm if I'm being too gripey with it it's not the, the, the sculpting or anything like that it's the fact that when you buy these figures like I wanted an M60 gunner but I had to buy a pack of is it four M60 gunners you know um, I, I prefer them to make up packs again I don't game now I, I just paint so that's probably the painter in me not, <laughs> not needing to paint for four M60 gunners but I, I, I wish they'd make a gun group up rather than a pack of four machine gunners you know because there's no number twos with them there's no number threes I'd prefer them to put a pack where you've got you know an M60 gunner um, is number two and a, and a couple of guys you know carrying more rounds if that makes sense that's just my own we all have what we you know what we'd like out of figures uh, I just find sometimes you, you're buying census packs sometimes of, of stuff it's like the bloopers I've painted two there I've got two and yes I'm a commercial painter so you know I can make another unit up with these other bloopers I know that but it's it seems like you're having to buy a lot more packs to do what you want to do you know um, that just might be me but again excellent excellent sculpts um, you, you know they really are top notch uh, and uh, I really enjoyed painting them so guys thank you very much you look after yourselves uh, up and coming videos uh, I'm trying not to do a ramble video um, we've I was in contact with one of my maras on uh, on the Facebook messaging and he'd uh, highlighted the fact that we now any of us that have adverts have got to pay taxes to the United States government uh, on our YouTube videos <laughs> I'm trying not to make a ramble on that one um, so I don't know if I'll do it one it won't be today because I need to I need to calm down <laughs> uh, but other videos the the t34 is having its um, base armor putting on and I've been making side skirts and things like that for her uh, I think I will not show the next part of the video on that until I've actually done some base painting on her so actually you see a green tank rather than a primed one uh, because I can't put the side armor and things on and the other bits until I've actually painted the, the base of the tank because all this other stuff's got to get stuck on so I've stuck some some I-beams on and everything uh, as if they've been welding onto the tank um, but it's not really enough to bother you guys with a video on so we'll probably wait till she's all painted green now what else have I got to show you um, in the coming days I've started a 28mm I've got about 40 plus 28mm uh, French naps uh, chasseurs of the guard uh, they uh, they'll get a little the first eight will get a showing uh, in a video very soon uh, what else well, I'll keep promising this Chevy well the Chevy the Chevy's more or less done I, I, I went to put the wheels on the other day and realized I hadn't I hadn't painted or stuck on the disc brakes and stuff that you've got to put on so um, I've got to do that today tonight when I do a bit on my model uh, so that's uh, that's got to go go on and uh, so that'll be a video coming up uh, in the next few days the final reveal of the Chevy at last <laughs> uh, what else uh, there was a model unboxing I was going to do as well I, I have actually got a second hand kit that came in but it wasn't that one I was going to do I'm completely lost of <laughs> this I have no idea there was something else I was going to do a video on <laughs> you know me <laughs> uh, so anyway I'm going all over the place already look after yourselves uh, keep doing what you do uh, it's, uh, there's been some great videos out there somebody please please hide whatever payment method that my Mara uh, Sean in Arkansas uses to buy model kits because <laughs> that guy needs restraining <laughs> he's <laughs> he's, uh, he's completely lost it on the kit front I don't, I, you know <laughs> I don't think Tamiya produces as many kits as that guy buys. Anyway, you look after yourselves, guys. We'll catch each other very, very soon with another video.